Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, for many years, I've encouraged women who suffer from polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, to incorporate soy foods and even soy isoflavone supplements into their overall management. Now, for the most part, these recommendations were based on the biological plausibility that they would be helpful. But no actual studies had been performed to prove that soy isoflavones could make a difference. Well, an impressive study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in August of 2016 showed that soy isoflavone supplementation, in fact, improved key parameters in the management of polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS. So the study included 70 women diagnosed with PCOS who were 18 to 40 years of age, and their participants were randomly allocated into two groups. Either they took 50 milligrams a day of soy isoflavones or the placebo for 12 consecutive weeks. Now the study showed that women ingesting the soy isoflavones showed a significant reduction in blood levels of insulin and testosterone, which are two major contributing factors to polycystic ovarian syndrome. So women with PCOS typically show higher blood insulin levels and increased insulin resistance, which tends to increase the production of cysts in the ovaries. And women with PCOS tend to have higher levels of the male hormones testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, which also increase ovarian cyst production. So soy isoflavone supplementation reversed these two important PCOS contributing factors and it also reduced blood cholesterol and triglyceride levels, two additional important health benefits. So the mechanism through which soy isoflavones achieve these outcomes is related to evidence from previous studies showing that soy isoflavones increase insulin receptor function which decreases insulin secretion and isoflavones block a key enzyme that converts the male hormone androstenedione into testosterone and also the conversion of testosterone into dihydrotestosterone is inhibited by soy isoflavones. So the long and the short of it is that soy isoflavones help to lower insulin levels by increasing insulin receptor function and blocking the synthesis of both testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, these male hormones that can really uh, drive PCOS problems. So based on previous studies, I made the assumption that soy isoflavones would likely benefit women with PCOS, but the study in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism is the first study to actually confirm this contention. Now this is an important study because 5 to 10 percent of women 15 to 45 years of age suffer from polycystic ovarian syndrome and when the cysts burst it can be extremely painful and the, infer the infertility rate with PCOS is also extremely high. So anything that can prevent the production of ovarian cysts and facilitate a normalized ovulatory cycle in these cases is helpful and thus reducing insulin testosterone and dihydrotestosterone levels with soy isoflavones should now be strongly considered in the nutritional recommendations for women that have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now there are other nutritional medicine strategies that have also been shown to be helpful. So for instance, <clears throat> if a woman's overweight and she loses some of that weight, it often helps with PCOS because it helps to balance hormones. Doing aerobic exercise also increases insulin sensitivity, which is helpful to lower insulin levels, and also the reduction in body fat also helps to balance hormone levels. As also helpful is the frequent consumption of cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, bok choy. They contain indole-3 carbonyls and sulforaphanes, which detoxify excess estrogen, which is helpful, and also helps to regulate estrogen balance throughout the body and also some supplements that directly block the conversion of testosterone into dihydrotestosterone like saw palmetto some of these supplements you normally would give to men that have an enlarged prostate gland are helpful for women that have polycystic ovarian syndrome and I also usually recommend an essential fatty acid supplement with fish oil, flaxseed oil, borash seed oil, soy seed oil all together so that's fish, flaxseed and borash seed oil all in one capsule 
helping the body make prostaglandins that reduce inflammation and slow the rate of cell division, which may help to decrease cyst formation as well. But together with the ingestion of soy isoflavones, these nutrition and lifestyle factors can help balance the hormonal cascade, improving PCOS management, and also reducing secondary factors such as acne, male pattern hair growth, and blood sugar irregularities that are often accompany the polycystic ovarian syndrome uh, profile. So I've included the study reference in the text below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.